Today I'm going to show you how to select an ERMS switch using our product selectors tools. Right now I'm in quote fast, so I need to select the selector button and that will bring us to our menu. As we scroll down we can find our switchboards and there's many options, but today we're just going to select our standard switchboard. This will bring us to our product selector tool. In order to save time, I'm going to leave everything at its default value on this particular screen. We could go ahead and scroll down and make sure everything is there that we want, which you would do when you're using the selectors tool anyway. What we're going to do at this point is we're going to select our incoming requirements. So let's go ahead and scroll back up and select incoming requirements from our device tool. Once we're there, again, we're going to leave everything at this default setting. Let's go back over to device and select main and feeders. Here you can see that it's already defaulted to a breaker. The electronic trip is the standard advanced. And here's where we want to change our trip unit from a ammeter to a power trip unit. Once we've done that, we want to scroll down to device options. Up here is where we're going to select our maintenance switch. It defaults to not required, so let's select locally mounted ERMS. Now you've selected your ERMS tool for your main device. At this point you can carry on to select other options.